People seem to want to declare width 100% on everything, and I don't get it. Because the default is already auto, which mostly takes up the full width anyway, it mostly does nothing, and it can actually cause some problems. Like, say we're working on this little intro element here, and you say, I want it to be full width, so I throw a width 100% on there. Now, this intro is a paragraph, which means it's a block level element. This is completely useless. But if I try to get fancier with things, it can actually cause some problems and cause some overflow that I wouldn't have been expecting. Now, because the pseudo element is positioned outside of the element itself, it's sort of falling off the page a little bit. And I want to fix that. And the easy way to do that is to add some margins to push the element over a bit. Now my pseudo element looks the way I want it to, but the problem is my element itself is overflowing outside of the container that it's inside of. And that's because of the width 100% here, because we have the width matching the width of my parent plus the margin on the side of it. We can switch that over to an auto and it completely fixes the problem. And of course, auto is the default behavior here. So we could actually remove it completely and everything will be completely fine. 